My name is Donald LeBlanc with funwithwoodworking.com. Today I'm going to talk to you about the Ryobi Tech 4 cordless screwdriver. Um, I found one of these at Home Depot about three months ago and went on my Facebook page and asked all of my uh, subscribers if they if anybody had used one of these and nobody had used one and they suggested that I buy one and do a tool review on it. So I reached out to the good people at Ryobi and they were kind enough to send me one. So uh, take this review for what it's worth. The tool comes with a bag, six bits, um, three traditional, actually no, I don't know what the names of these are, and three um, Phillips. Comes with a battery, the screwdriver itself, and a charger. Right off the bat, um, I'm not a big fan of the way the battery goes in. See what I mean? Um, once it's in there and you got it screwed in, it's fine, it's not coming out. But the whole screwing the lid on thing, I'm not a big fan of. But once you get it in, like I said, it's, it's in there and it works. The bag, I could care less. The bits are nice, um, but I have some larger bits that I use, so I generally use one of these um, unless I'm in close quarters, which uh, for a lot of my ice chest cooler boxes I am, so that's the main reason I wanted this. It has two speeds, it's got a one and a two. One is slow with a lot of torque, two is faster with a lot less torque. I tend to do everything on a 1 because um, it's 4 volts, it's not super powerful, but it's powerful enough to, to do what I need it to do, and um, being on that lower setting is generally what I like. has a quick connect um, head, all you got to do is get the bit, push it in, you're good to go. To take it out, you just push it forward, push it forward, pull it out. The bigger ones are heavier, those come right out. The main thing that I wanted this for was building my ice chest cooler boxes, which I make out of cedar fence pickets. I pre-drill everything because I don't want the wood to split. So there's two pre-drill holes right here on a one. It goes right in. You heard it slow down because it hit the second board that was not pre-drilled. And it went right through and actually came out the bottom here. Uh, like on a traditional drill, you have forward and reverse. These tend to slip. Uh, I don't know what it is that when I grab this, I hit them sometimes and it will tend to be you know, in neutral there. But that's something I've kind of learned to deal with. So that is into a pre-drilled hole. If I get this without a pre-drilled hole, just one board. Okay, there's see, I had to hit that button again. goes right through. Comes right out. Now if we do two boards without a pre-drilled hole, and that's with the clutch set at 10. If I set it to drill, normally 10 works good for my cooler boxes, there we go, it's flush and that pretty much killed the, uh, the torque on it, it's not going to go any deeper than that. And like I said, I do everything with being pre-drilled, so this is perfect. If we come back over to this other pre-drilled hole, 
This is the one I use first. If we do this one, it goes in no problem. And like I said, I normally keep it the clutch on about a 10. So when I get, well, I forgot to mention it has a light on the front too. And there we go, it's flush, and that's exactly where I want it to be. Um, let me go and show you the second speed. So speed two, without pre-drilling, you can really hear it bogging down. And there we go. It, uh, with the second speed, you can see it didn't go all the way through. There we go. But, but if I go ahead and pre-drill with a countersink bit and then do it with the high speed, there we go. It goes all the way down, but it's still a little, a little bit uh, jumpy. So put it back on the one. and we are good to go. Like I said, this is what I bought it for, this is what I want to do, and it works great. Now if you happen to have 2x4s that you want to drill into, here it's uh, pre-drilled but not countersunk, and I have it on a 1. And that's with the, uh, the clutch on 10, went right in, which really surprised me. I didn't think it would work very well on a 2x4. Now if we do it without a pre-drilled hole, it's going in. Oh, there we go, that's the clutch on 10. Let's put it all the way. Okay, so it put it almost all the way in. It's sticking out of probably about an eighth of an inch which putting something like this in I would use one of my 18 volt drills for or an impact wrench but in a pinch in a pinch this will work and like I said I pre-drill everything because I've split too, way too much wood and on a piece of uh, pre-drilled it goes right in. Now it doesn't self countersink uh, because it just isn't powerful enough but if you go ahead and use a, a bit with the countersink in it you'll be fine. Now me personally I went and bought an extra battery for I think it was twelve dollars just because I don't like to ever um, be in a situation where my battery dies and I have to wait for another one, to, wait for that one to charge. So, 12 bucks for a battery is not bad. So all in all, um, I'm a fan of this cordless screwdriver. They could improve this on-off switch, uh, or the, sorry, the forward reverse switch. Um, it works better on a larger drill, but this being as small as it is, my finger tends to hit it and I'm not a big fan of this twisty cap. But having said that, um, I mentioned earlier that Roy Ryobi did send this to me, but the best endorsement I can give it is that if this one dies or something happens to it and it breaks, I will spend the money to go buy another one. Um, other than that, thanks for watching. Uh, please consider subscribing. Uh, please hit the like button, and I'll see you next time.